Today we talk about determiners. A determiner is a word that comes before a noun to determine how the noun is being used. Let us see an example. My house. Here the word my is a determiner. It comes before the noun house and it determines that the noun house is used in a possessive way. Whose house? My house. So my is a possessive determiner. Let us see another example. This table. Here this is the determiner. It comes before the noun table and it determines that the noun table is used in a demonstrative way. That is it demonstrates a specific table. Which table? This table. Let us see how many kinds of determiners are there. Determiners include the following types. Please write down. The first type is articles, indefinite and definite articles, a or an, definite, the, then demonstratives, this, that, these, those, then possessives, my, your, his, her, its, are, their, quantifiers, some, any, enough, no, all, both, half, double, several, much, many, more, most, few, fewer, fewest, a few. See, few and a few, there is a difference between them. Few means not many, whereas a few means several. Little, less, least, a little. Little means not much, a little means some. Then we have numbers, cardinal numbers, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, ordinal numbers, 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th, 5th. Ordinal numbers are in an order. They follow a sequence and they are generally made by adding th, the suffix th, to cardinal numbers like 50. We add th and we make it 50th. Then we have distributives, exclamatives. Copy this down. Yeah, write fast. Now we will deal with each of them individually. Let us take the first one, articles. So we are using articles as determiners. Let us see an example. A tourist stayed at a hotel. Here in this sentence, the determiner is the article A. It's indefinite because we do not know which tourist. We are not specific about it. We are not definite about the tourist. So we are using an indefinite article. It comes before the noun tourist and the function is to determine that the noun tourist is used in an indefinite way. Similarly, at the end you will see stayed at a hotel. We are not sure which hotel. So we are saying a hotel. Let us see another example. He lives in an apartment. Here the determiner is the indefinite article and which determines that the noun apartment is used in an indefinite way. We are not specific. We are not definite about the apartment. So we use an indefinite article. On the other hand, if you are specific, you are definite, then you use a definite article, the. For example, have you parked the car? Here, the determiner is a definite article, the. And it comes before the noun car. It determines that the noun car is used in a definite way. We know, we are certain, we are specific, we are definite, which car was to be parked. Another example might be, the tiger roared. Here also, we are sure about which tiger. If we are not sure, then we'll write, a tiger road, but we are definite, we are specific, we are sure which tiger. So we say the tiger road. Here the is the determiner, noun is tiger, it comes before tiger and it determines that the noun tiger is used in a definite way. Demonstrative, demonstratives are this, that, these, those. This can be used with singular countable noun and singular uncountable noun. That can be used with singular countable noun and singular uncountable noun. Whereas these and those are used with plural nouns. Let us see an example. What is in this drawer? Here, this comes before the noun drawer. Drawer is a countable noun. We can count one drawer, two drawers, three drawers. And it determines that the noun drawer is used in a demonstrative way. So it's a demonstrative determiner. Let us see another example. How do you like this music? Here, this comes before the noun music. Music is an uncountable noun. You cannot count music. But it determines that the noun music is used in a demonstrative way. So this is a demonstrative determiner which is used with a singular uncountable noun music. Another example would be, have you visited that part of London? Part is a singular countable noun. 
that comes prior to it and it determines that it is used in a demonstrative way. Another example would be, could you give him some of that milk? Here that comes prior to milk. Milk is a singular uncountable noun and it is used in a demonstrative way. Let us see another example. Can you format the hard disks of these computers? Here the determiner is these. It comes before the plural noun computers and it determines that the noun is used in a demonstrative way. Similarly, we can use those. You need to wash those clothes. Determiner is those. Noun is clothes. Now we have possessives like my, your, his, her, its, our, their. Let us see an example. This is my car. Here the determiner is my, which is possessive in nature. Whose car? My car. And it comes before the noun car and it determines that the noun car is used in a possessive way. Similarly, we can have sentences with your, his, her, its, are, their. For example, this is your computer. Those are his books. These are her clothes. The city flourished with its attractions. When is our next appointment? The team celebrated their victory. Now we can use quantifiers also as determiners. Quantifiers are like some, any, enough, no, all, both, half, double, several, much, many, more, most, few, fewer, fewest, a few. There's a distinction between few and a few. Few means not many, while a few means several. Little, less, least, a little. Little means not much, whereas a little means some. Let us see an example. Can you give her some ice cream, please? Here, the determiner is some, and it comes before the noun ice cream. Ice cream is used in a quantifiable way. Quantifiers specify a quantity. They are different from numbers. Numbers also specify quantities. However, quantifiers provide approximate amounts, whereas numbers provide an exact amount. Okay, let us see an example. Can you give her some ice cream, please? Here, the determiner is some. Do you have any time to spare? Any is the determiner here. The police presented enough evidence to convict him. There is no information. All the resources have been used. Both students completed the homework. Half the time he was asleep. Do you want to double the money? Determiners are of several types. The work requires much effort. There were many birds on the train. You can make a note here. Many is used with countable nouns. Whereas much is used with uncountable nouns. This car needs more petrol. Most tourists do not stay for long. Few people are wise. Few means not many. So we can say not many people are wise. Whereas earlier we had used a few. A few means several. Note the distinction. Fewer cars were sold than usual. He took the fewest holidays. A few kind people gave charity. Which means several kind people gave charity. There is little chance of failure. This engine utilizes less fuel. That is the least important thing to do. He ate a little bread and drank coffee. Here also note the distinction. A little means some, whereas little means not much. So we can say there is not much chance of failure. Or he ate some bread and drank coffee. Now we can use numbers also as determiners. There are two kinds of numbers, cardinal numbers and ordinal numbers. Cardinal numbers are 1, 2, 3, whereas ordinal are 1st, 2nd, 3rd, 4th. Let us see some examples. The three girls grew up together. Here 3 is the determiner. It's a cardinal number. It comes before the noun girls, plural noun girls, and it determines that the noun is used in a numerical way. Their third child is a genius. Here. Determiner is the ordinal number third, child is the noun, and it is used in a numerical way. We can use distributives also as determiners, each, every, either, neither. Let us see some examples. Each child received a chocolate. Here, each is the determiner, child is the noun, used in a distributive way. The camera captured every detail of the scene. Either of them can do the task. Neither of them are capable. We can use exclamatives also as determiners. Exclamatives like what, such, let us see some examples. What a shame, what a waste, or what nonsense, what a lovely dress. See, what nonsense. Here, what is the determiner comes before the noun nonsense. Now we can also have another format, like we use the determiner before an article, a or an, and then an adjective is optional, and then we use a noun. For example, 
What a lovely dress. We can say what a dress. What a dress or what a lovely dress. So the lovely adjective is optional. So what and such as a determiner can be used before a noun or before an indefinite article a and plus adjective plus noun. Examples of such would be she is such a nice girl. Such talent does not go unnoticed. Understood? Okay. Now we move on. Determiners come before a noun. So the format is determiner plus noun. However, when a determiner is used as a pronoun, then there is no noun following it. It is just the determiner. There is no noun following it. Even without the noun, the meaning is clear. Let us see an example. Would you like some milk? Here some is a determiner. Milk is a noun. It comes before the noun. Whereas if it is used as a pronoun, I've got chips. Would you like some? Here some is used as a pronoun. It is not followed by a noun. As a determiner, it is followed by a noun. As a pronoun, it is not followed by a noun. Let us see another example. Several people boarded the aircraft. Here the determiner is several. People is a noun. If you use the several as a pronoun, the recession has affected not just one institution. There are several. The event had enough volunteers to take care of every aspect. Here, enough is used as a determiner. Let us see its usage as a pronoun. Do you need more milk? No, this is enough. Thanks. Neither party accepted the agreement. Here, neither is the determiner, party is the pronoun. If we use neither as a pronoun, then it is not to be followed by a noun. Would you prefer coffee or tea? Neither, thanks. I just need a glass of water. Another example would be, pass me that chair. Which chair? That chair. So it's a demonstrative determiner. As a pronoun, it would be, which dress do you like? Give me that, please. The white one. Here you can make a note. The word that, it can be used in several ways. For example, it can be used as a determiner, like, give me that shirt. Or it can be used as a demonstrative pronoun, like, where did you get that? It can also be used as a relative pronoun, which forms the subject or the object or the complement of a relative clause. For example, it's a thesis that I had written. It can also be used as an adverb that comes before another adverb or an adjective. For example, this project will take five years. I can't wait that long. Or ten years. I can't wait that long. That can also be used as a conjunction, which connects two clauses, like, I don't know that he is engaged. You can also write another note that the same word can be used as a determiner and as a pronoun in a single sentence. Let us see an example. I bought a few clothes and I also donated a few. Here, the phrase a few is used as a determiner in the phrase a few clothes, whereas it is used as a pronoun in the phrase donated a few. Remember, a few means several, while few means not many. Similarly, a little means some, while little means not much. Determiners used as pronouns include words like a few, a little, another, any, both, each, either, enough, fewer, fewest, least, less, many, more, most, much, neither. One, two, three. Several, some, that, these, this, those, which, whose. Okay. So let us conclude here. And to sum up, a determiner is a word that comes before a noun. And its function is to determine how the noun is being used. There are several types of determiners. And they include articles, demonstratives, possessives, quantifiers, numbers, distributives, and exclamatives. Some determiners can also be used as pronouns. Any questions? Are you ready to do the exercise? Okay, please start. Thank you.